sinking. It's still sinking. Yes. How does it feel? CNN. Um, it feels really good. Refreshing. Yeah. Leading so many people. Right. When I see you, I see a bright future for Kenyans. I thank all the Kenyans for electing new, fresh, young leadership. So Kenyans, clap for yourself. All right, also let's appreciate congratulating for being elected as a, a MP wa Mwingi West. West. Tell me about Greece and Greek. First of all, Greece is the most romantic country I've ever been in the world. I was, most of the time I was raised up there and truly I can speak Greek because it's my vast language. No, no, you know Kenyans and really are to a minigi. No, we, no, 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 you translate what I'm saying in Greece. How are you? Kalispera uh, Oh, you're watching us. You're watching us. Thanks, uh -huh. Live. Live. You're watching us live. Live. Oh, live. Yeah. You want me to speak that in Greek? In Greek? Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, you know, like I'm Kaliman. But no one is understanding. Don't yeah, worry. Is, is there anything of... Wakenya, <laughs> wanajua. Kuna moja kuhuku wanaona. <laughs> you watch in Churchill show. Thanks, uh, Ereli. I love them for reason to me. I love them for why do I have a feeling you may change your kikamba mali, you karokota kim kisomali mali, wajia? Just because atujai yenda uko tuna idea. Ask any Greek in the house. Yeah. I know we are rare. Do we have any Greek in the house? Do you understand Greek? Eh? Greek? Where where? What was it? All right, but and then you, you can do oh, Japanese. A little bit because yeah. I did it when I was in USIU, but not a lot actually. Oh, we have people from USIU. <laughs> All right, Asante Sana. Thank you very much. Yes. So you do six languages. Six of them. All right. Yeah. So you were brought up in Greece, uh, Greek, the, the Greece. Greek uh, setup, Kamba setup, Nairobi setup, British setup, everything. Yeah. So you could you Nilikuja huku nikiwa 8 years, nikaanza shule, nikaendelea, mpaka nikamaliza chuo, university, that's USIU, Strathimo. Then I went back to United Kingdom, London School of Economics. No, he's not saying. Mm. So you did economics? Economics, uh, uh, the first master's was economics, the second one was political science, where I guess I'm now in the right place for politics in the country. And Etihad was uh, when? Sorry? Etihad. Etihad, I did it from 2011 up to 2015, when I decided to quit uh, this kind of uh, uh, private organizations to public sectors, and now I'm ready and I'm happy to serve Kenyans as a whole, not only the Mwingi community, actually. Yes, so I can see I'm replacing Kalonzo Musioka soon. So did you know you'll make it? Uh, actually, initially it was really hard for me because you know in the politics, it's, it's a game of just trial and error, or rather trying. But I knew very well because of uniting youth for over 16 years, I've got 93 clubs in the constituents actually playing a, a project I initiated when I was young called Nguna Cup. So 93 clubs with a lot of youth in place, I knew I'm doing the right thing and I was very confident because I was overwhelmingly elected in nominations. I meant it, and I thank God for that. And congratulations. Let's congratulate him now, yes. Mwishimewa. Quick one, eh? Uh, Wamekuonyesha vile wanatufanyaga pale pale metu. Wamekuonyesha hapa ndiyo mta tufigiliaga kama wa raya. Mm. Have they shown you? Uh, yeah, wale maripita, my MP. Wameonyesha mahali pesa sinachukuli wako? We, we, we've actually done a lot of orientation, eh? and uh, one of the most things actually I did, my uncles, a lot of people work in parliament, so by the time the likes of Kinababu, Kina Ali, Muhammad, and the freshers were coming, 
I was already conversant with what happens actually in Kenyan parliament. So I was not that fresh man, actually. All right. So what is this new fresh thing, uh, ideas you're bringing into, on the table? Actually, the thing actually we want to do as young leaders, number one, we want to detoxicate and de our country. I know a lot of tribalism, actually, you've seen it's happening, and it is taking us backward. We should all live as Kenyans. We should also embrace democracy. And one of the few things I'm going to ask my young leaders in this country, let us serve all the Kenyans with one heart to ensure developments all of us that. Yes. And congratulations, Mweshimiwa. Let's appreciate CNN. This task is done. Congratulations. Congratulations.